Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So if you look back a couple of videos, we spoke about utilities, the n number of parts that can go onto your motorcycle. So to make it a lot more easier, we're going to break it down for the next couple of videos and talk about a couple of parts separately that should, you should have on your bike. So starting with, let's look at a windscreen, your risers and your mirrors. Let's get into the video. Alright, now starting from the front end of the bike, if you look at most of these manufacturers, regardless whatever bike it is, you're not going to get a huge windscreen. What you see here is the KTM Adventure 390. This is a stock windscreen. Now you may ask me why I don't have a big screen on this bike. Uh, well, this bike is ridden mostly on the trails and we do a little bit of short riding as well. The minute this bike is on the highway, this is where exactly you will need a taller and a wider windscreen. It can be a two-piece screen or maybe even a clip-on that would suit your need. Now, why do you need a bigger and wider windscreen? Really simple. If you're someone doing those long distances and you would want to sit comfortably behind your bars and not being bothered about the wind buffeting, regardless of the helmet that you're wearing, you would need a slightly longer and a wider windscreen. So, if you look at uh, this particular video here, we've got three different bikes, three different screens from one brand. So, you can choose from different categories. It can be a super sport, it can be a naked, it can be an adventure bike, a sports tourer. So you have windscreens for all these bikes to ensure that your ride is super comfortable behind those bars. Just a note, when you're picking up your brand new windscreen, you've seen the size, you've seen the design, you like it. But do you know that you also have different color options? You get a dark smoke, you get a light smoke, you get a clear one. So if you're someone who's a little short, you might want to look at getting a clear one because you don't want to have a dark smoke screen or a light smoke screen and look through that. So yeah, this is pretty much windscreens. There are a lot of options in the market there. You guys should check it out. Now we've done pretty much with the front end of the bike in terms of ergonomics. Let's move a little bit where the actual fun happens. Alright, so how do you know what kind of risers do you need? Well, for example, if you look at uh, this KTM Adventure 390, the stock handlebars are okay. Again, if you're doing city rides and just normal commuting stuff. But if you're someone who's going on the highway, doing a lot of trail riding, you would want to be in a good commanding and more comfortable position. This also applies to your highway riding and those long distances that you would be doing. So yeah, there's a lot of brands in the market here. You can decide whether you want a straight riser or you want a pullback riser. Depending on the bike, depending on the brand, you get different models specific to each and every bike. Alright, so now you're comfortable with that big wide windscreen and some good handlebar risers. You're really comfortable, but you're really not convinced with what's happening behind you. Mirrors. These are something that's really important if you're riding, especially on your Indian highways. You'd want to see what's right next to you and behind you. So if you look at this bike here, we've got the completely adjustable and indestructible mirrors. They work really, really well. These have taken good amount of falls. They actually just fold back. They're fully adjustable and they work like a charm. Now across bikes, your sports tourers, your adventure tourers, adventure bikes, you get these mirrors as well. You'll just have to keep in mind that you'll have to get the right setup because the fitments are a little different and the parts are a little different across bikes. Alright, so who would need these mirrors? Really simple. Adventure bikes, you're going on trails, you're going on some really good enduro trails. If you look at this, these are completely adjustable. And when you have an impact, it's not going to send it down and you know break the stem and stuff. What it would do? This. That's how simple and beautiful this product is. Now say you're riding the trails but you still got some uh, you know, good riding time on the highway. You would need mirrors, right? You can't leave them at home. So this right here, when I said completely adjustable, you can have them completely folded down and that's how simple it is. So you have your handlebars nice and free, your mirrors are not going to get damaged. Right, so there what you saw was a couple of accessories that you would might want to look at when you pick up your brand new bike just to increase the comfort and the riding time on the saddle. So stay tuned for the next video. We've got a few more accessories. My name is Ajit. I'll see you guys in the next one.